what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Hollywood strikes again. The news came down on Tuesday that Jordan Peele's breakout film, Get Out, will compete in the Golden Globes as, get this, comedy musical categories. Threw me off too. Not surprised, not shocked, a little thrown off. Now, a lot of people was thrown off by this placement. This film that many people uh, considered to be a horror film, a thriller, dealt with white privilege, interracial dating, and the pervasive racism in self-proclaimed liberal circles. Having said that, many people could relate to it and they thought of it as anything but a comedy. Nevertheless, Universal Pictures, the film's distributor, submitted it as a comedy. And they did this without Jordan Peele's blessings. Jordan Peele is the writer, the creator, the director of this film. It appears that Hollywood Foreign Press, the governing body behind the Globes, offered the option and Universal ran with it. Here's what Jordan Peele had to say. Originally, I set out to make a horror movie. I ended up showing it to people and hearing, you know, it doesn't even feel like horror. It's in this thriller world. So it was a social thriller. He seemed a little pissed, but he also seemed to be a little diplomatic. He offered a compelling argument about the film being placed in the comedy category when he said this. What the movie is about is not funny. I've had many black people come up to me and say, man, this is the movie we've been talking about for a while, and you did it. However, he's willing to accept the HFPA's outcome. He said, this is all gravy to me that people are still talking about it. The major point to identify here is that we don't want our truth trivialized. The label of comedy is often trivial. The real reason is, what are you laughing at? Are you laughing at the horror or the suffering? Wow. Yeah, that's what I want to know. What the hell are you laughing at? What's so funny? You know, one of the real serious themes that ran through there was the organ harvesting that was going on. That's a very real thing. Anybody that don't think it's real, keep on walking outside and just taking those little nightly strolls by yourself. Keep on hanging out and going places where don't nobody know where you are, not telling anybody where you are. People are out there now, they're not waiting on you to die. They're killing people and cutting their bodies open and surgically removing their organs. This is real. So I didn't see anything. I never thought of the film as being funny. I think the Golden Globe strategically placed that film in the comedy category to minimize, to marginalize the film make sure that it don't hit any home runs. I'm, I'm be, you know, I, well, I was about to say I'm beginning to think they do this stuff, you know, just to trivialize us and make fun, but they do. I don't have to think they do this. Same way when they gave Denzel the award for training day, when Denzel did all of these great honorable movies, and the second that he do, he do a movie where he's the bad guy. He does what a character has no redeeming qualities. They finally give him an Oscar. Man, Denzel Washington is easy the best actor out there. Okay, 
Maybe you got your preferences, but you cannot deny that he's one of the greatest of all time. He should have been racking up Oscars. And then they back door and give Halle Berry an Oscar only after she gets slutty in Monsters Ball with a white guy. There was nothing funny about the film to me. And I know most of you guys didn't find it funny either. But you know what? It probably was funny to them. I don't know, Jordan. Maybe you should take your own advice and get out of Hollywood. Then again, you can stick it out and continue to do what you do. On second thought, maybe it was a comedy because you laughed all the way to the bank on their asses. No more talk. What the haters talking about?